Have you ever come across a project.db file here in DaVinci Resolve and you want to know what project is it for? Because when you look at it, it's just got a bunch of numbers, a date and some numbers after it, and you have no idea what it's for. Today I've got a tip for you on how to tell what exactly that file is and what project it came from. Now if you tried to open up that project.db file, it's going to look like a bunch of gibberish and it's not going to make any sense. You're going to have no idea what project that originally came from. So the first thing we need to do is download this DB browser for SQ Lite. And this is going to allow us to read what project this particular project.db file is for. Now, before you do any of this stuff, I would recommend that you back up your database. If you don't know how to do that, I've got videos on that. And if you're going to download this program, make sure that you're okay and you're comfortable downloading it. I tried it out. It works out great, but just want to make sure that you guys know that's on you. Make sure you're comfortable with all this stuff that we're going to do here. So from the webpage here that I'll link in the description below, we've got download. I'm going to click on download. Once you're on the downloads page, pick the one for either Windows if you're on Windows or Mac if you're on Mac. I'm on Mac with Apple Silicon, so I'll go ahead and download this one right here. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and get that installed. Now we need to figure out where are those project.db files. Maybe you've already got it. You know where it is. But if you're not sure where to find them and you want to know where should I look, here's where you can look. You got to jump into DaVinci Resolve, and then we're going to take a look in our preferences. So in DaVinci Resolve here, we're going to come up to DaVinci Resolve at the top, down to Preferences. And in our preferences, we're going to go to our user section and we have project save and load. And right here, the backup location, that's where you're going to want to go look. Now, it may be a default setting here. It may just say cache clip or cache or something like that. I've sent mine to an external hard drive, so I know exactly where they are. But if you're not sure or you don't recognize the path that's right here, you can also come back to the system side. And under media storage, look right here. And maybe that's going to tell you where your files might be stored. So in my case, on my external hard drive, I've got a cache and capture backup, got project backups, resolve project backups, and in here I've got folders with a whole bunch of numbers and it doesn't make any sense. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up that program that you downloaded and it's going to tell us what is inside of these different folders. For example, if I click on one of them, we see all these project.db files, but I have no idea what project those are actually associated with. So when you open up the DB browser for SQ Lite, this is what it looks like. And here's what we want to do. We want to go to open database. So now you're going to navigate to wherever those project.db files are. In my case, you can see resolve project backups. And let's just pick this first one here. And we can see here's all of my project.db files. Now you can select the one that you want to know what project is it, right? So I'm just going to pick the first one here and go ahead and click open. Now, once you open it up, there's a lot going on in here, but there's only really one thing that we need to know here. So over here, we're going to go browse data right here. Click on that. And then under table right here, we want to click the drop down and you want to come down to this one, SM underscore project. Go ahead and click on that. Now in here, it's going to give us a bunch of different information, but if you scroll over far enough, you're going to see this column right here, project name. And if I just make it a little bit bigger, right here, we have our project name for the project in DaVinci Resolve, which in this case was 2022 12 16 underscore DR 18 quick start guide. So I know that all the backups in that folder, if I come back to my finder here, all of these project backups, project.db files here are part of that particular project in DaVinci Resolve. So the DB browser is really going to help you find out what project those project.db files came from. And then if you need to restore it, you can go ahead and restore it. So how can we restore the project.db file? Well, this part is going to be a little bit tricky, but if you are up for it and you really need that project, here's what you can do. The first thing I'm going to do is come to that file that I want. I'm going to select it and I'm going to copy it using command or control C. The next thing we need to do is actually create the project again in DaVinci Resolve. Let's say maybe this project didn't exist and I need to create it again. So we want to jump back into DaVinci Resolve. Now in DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to go ahead and open up my project manager and I need to create a new folder for this project in my database. So we have our local database right here. I'm going to right click on there and say reveal in finder. Now, once it does that, it should point you to wherever you have your database on your hard drive. The next thing I want to do is come down to resolve projects then users, guest, projects. And here are all the projects that I have in DaVinci Resolve that are part of that database. Now, let's say I need to create a new project in Resolve where I can use that project DB file because maybe the project got corrupted, maybe it disappeared, maybe um, it just crashed and it won't open at all, so I can't do anything with it. But I have those project.db files 
Here's what you can do. We can create a new folder inside of this project's directory here. So I'm just gonna click the new folder icon and I'm gonna call this something that'll appear near the top so it's easy for me to find. Underscore 2024, I'm gonna say 0225. Underscore, I'm gonna call it what the project was originally called. It was DR18 Quick Start Guide. And I'm just gonna hit enter. Now inside that folder that I just created, I'm gonna go back up to the top of my screen here. Here's the folder. I'm gonna paste that project.db file in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste. Now, once you've pasted that project.db file into here, we actually need to remove all these extra numbers in there. And that's just the date and time that the backup was created. So I'm gonna select it and I'm just gonna remove all the numbers at the end up to the period, but leave the project.db. I'm gonna say use.db. And now when we go back into DaVinci Resolve, we should be able to find this project and we should be able to open it back up and load it back in DaVinci Resolve. So if you have Resolve open, close DaVinci Resolve and then reopen it and you should see the project there that you're trying to reload. So I've reopened DaVinci Resolve. I've got my project manager here. I'm gonna just sort it. I'm gonna scroll down and now we have our project right here, underscore 2024. 0225 DR quick start guide. Now I should be able to just click it and open it up just like any other project. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna click open. Now this project was created in an older version of DaVinci Resolve. So it's saying, do you wanna upgrade it? Yeah, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say upgrade. And there we go. We have the entire project right here in DaVinci Resolve. Everything is loaded back up. All the media is linked back up because I didn't lose the media. I only lost the project in DaVinci Resolve. I was able to load everything back up. I've got my project and now I can continue working even though the project may have crashed out here in DaVinci Resolve. But I had that project.db file. I figured out what it was and I was able to load it back up and then continue working on my project. Now remember, before you do any of this, always, always, always back up your project database before you do anything, just in case something gets messed up. I don't wanna be responsible. I want you guys to be backed up and make sure you don't lose anything or everything just in case something goes wrong. And if you're not sure how to back up your project database before we get started here, just go into your project manager. In this case, my local database, that's the one I wanna back up. I'm gonna click on the I. Right here, back up. You can click on that, save it wherever you want, and then you'll be backed up and good to go before you get into messing around with trying to restore projects here in DaVinci Resolve. Always better safe than sorry. So there you have it, figuring out what your project.db files are and how to restore them back into DaVinci Resolve in case that original project, something happened to it, it disappeared, it crashed, it won't work, it won't open. You got that project.db file, you can restore it and be on your way working on your project still. That's why it's so important to always make sure you got stuff backed up, right? Nobody cares about it until you run into a problem and then you wish you backed up if you weren't already. So make sure you're always backing up. Got videos on that that you can check out. But for now, your project.db file should be loaded back up and you should be good to go. All right, guys, that wraps up this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, perhaps a concern, leave it down below and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.